go in the back. Go in the end zone. Go in the end zone. I like it. I actually love it. I love this clip. I love this clip because I, I've been in the locker room too long, and I've been in the I've been in the off season workout stuff like that. You have these moments, and Jamie, don't come on here and and don't, I don't know what you're about to say yet, but don't come on here and lie and say you ain't had mo every off season. There's a moment or moments multiple when it's the middle of the off season, motherfuckers it's out of shape, and you're trying to and you're trying to. Uh, show discipline you're trying to and sometimes cats are doing shit the right way i honestly but as a coach you're trying to trigger some emotions you're trying to make it tough on these players on purpose to see how they react and respond you know what i'm saying there's multiple situations so this happens that 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 clip i'm actually that makes me actually more excited more of a believer in what colorado is going to do this season i like the fact that that dion yelled at his son and told him to go to the end zone for messing up the drill. I'm glad that they're calling Shiloh out. They're not showing the favoritism that everybody assume and claim that they are. They're calling guys out no matter what their name is. They're uh, they're they're setting up this team to be a disciplined team, focusing on the little things. Little things. Blow the whistle, you turn. If you do it wrong, if you're slow, if you're lagging, we're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. You know what I'm saying? All is one and one is all. I don't care if 99 of the players is doing the right way. If one of y'all is messing up, we all starting back over. That's football. We did the same thing. You know, me as a, a former, you know, as a captain, you know, we had spring teams where, you know, doing our morning workouts. And if one person on, on my team missed the class, missed breakfast check, lacked, we all getting Don Patrol. And the real the real ones know what Don Patrol is if you play college football because most of the guys I know to play different schools had their own variations and versions of Don Patrol. I mean, I'm getting up at 5.30 fucking in the morning and I'm doing some type of punishment that's that's going to be brutal. And that, very, and, that, and that could vary. But my point is, all is one, one is all. We are a team, we are a unit. So me seeing that clip, I actually like that. I have a chapter in my book, number one bestseller, <clears throat> Hate Me Now, Love Me Later. It is called <clears throat> Slap Dicks, Fuck Sticks, and Shit Birds. I have another chapter in my book. It's called Every Day is an Interview. Somebody's always watching you. Every Day is an Interview. Two very critical chapters in my bestseller, Hate Me Now, Love Me Later. I saw both of those things in that clip. I saw a slap dick, I saw a fuck stick, and I saw a shit bird. And then I saw every day's an interview. Somebody's always watching you. First of all, let's talk about Dion, so called everyone in the chat, ripping his son. If that's an ass ripping, then fuck, I'm the devil. Number one. Number two. I don't know if you realize, but the kid ran out of the end zone, which he never got to, which was directed by the head coach and his father to do so. He never got to the end zone. He immediately turned around and ran back into the drill. So let's not over-exaggerate the great disciplinarian in Coach Prime. Because <laughs> you should either allow it or you coach it. And that sure don't look like he's in the fucking end zone to me. So... Anyway, you coach it or allow it. That's a mockery. This is a joke. Um, what were they doing? I mean, is this fucking Pop Warner? Is this youth fucking football? What are we doing? And to Smitty's point, I do agree with. We do little shit like this to get attention to players and make sure we do finite, detailed work. We do certain things like that. But that drill, that drill, though, is not one of them. I, there's a lot of other things. That's cool. Watch. Everybody got to do the same drill. Maybe that maybe that wasn't your drill. That's cool, JB. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I do prongs before that. There's I do more ways to coach other than JB's plays. There's literally nothing that could happen in that drill. This is just, just telling you, professionally speaking, there's nothing in that drill that got that team better that day. They actually got worse. They actually got worse because the kid didn't listen to direction. He ran out of the end zone. Denver went to the end zone, came back, made the team and the dad and the coach look even better worse because he didn't listen to the dad 
And then, and then, and, and people want to talk about hypocrisy at the finest. We didn't see last chance you spelt wrong, by the way. But anyway, let's be clear. I have Juco players. I'm molding them to go to this level. You fucking idiots. They are the same kids, though, JB. At the end of the day, like, no, these Juco not. guys ain't some like. They're not the like, same kids. They are the same 18, they're 19, 20 year old kids. guys. Juco guys came and played with me. So, like, I, I played with you. Yeah, guys. Paul, Paul, One of my best Paul, friends Paul, played a fucking Juco. Juco. Like, what you rewind. About? Rewind your life. Type of dudes. No, rewind your life. Tell me the difference between a kid that went to Ball State with you right out of high school and a JUCO transfer. Stop playing. Tell me. Go ahead. Right now, I want to wait. Tell me how they're the same kid. What you mean? I'm saying we all the same kids. The motherfucker fucked up in high school in some way. They fucked the grades up. Like, or, or, like typically, that's what it was. Like, I don't – like, what are we talking about? You just said they're the same kid. No, they're not. They're not even close. Hey, I said, explain to me a kid that goes from high school to Ball State. Ain't meant to explain. Yeah, like these, these are the same know. type of like he's the same type of kid. Might be a little bit of a knucklehead. Might have gotten into some trouble. Might have grades might have got bad. That's that's the same. I got D one guys straight from high school to, to Ball State who did the same type of shit. But maybe they they, they were able to sneak their way in, get past it. Like I, I, I've seen both sides. I'm not like, saying I, as far as like. DNA. I'm talking about oh, when okay. you say the same kid. No, they're not. Juco is not the same. Juco players travel a completely different road. Now, are they fuck ups? Yeah, there's a reason why they're in Juco first. But a kid that goes straight D1 then gets kicked out and I have to take them back into Juco and then send them back to D1. We call that a 424 rule. That's a completely another different animal. There's three types of different animals in this business. There's a qualifier out of high school. There's a fuck up, whether it was weed, credit cards, drama, kicked out of grades, whatever, goes back to JUCO. And then there's just a kid that didn't play enough and said, I want to go play somewhere. And I leave the four year to go JUCO to play like Jonathan Banks did for me, Alan, a few other guys, go back D1 to a different D1 and start like Jonathan did at Tulane. So those are the three kids. There is no other kid. There is no other kid. Well, coach, uh, no, there's no other kid. You fuck up at a D1. You you went there out of high school, qualified academically, so you're smart enough to make it. You fucked up, become, meaning you were the follower, not the leader. I took you. I remolded you and sent you back to a four-year school. You either shit or get off the pot. You fucking figured it out. Or you come from the mud, you're shitty, you had a bad background, you couldn't graduate, you didn't take school seriously, then you go JUCO right out of high school. There's two completely different animals right there, two completely different ones. And this team gives me cringe vibes when all we show is this type of stuff you just saw, behavior, and we go defend it and say, that's great job, Dion, disciplining him. He didn't discipline you. He's fucking just, laughing at you. I just, think, we, at I just you. think every fucking thing laughing, Colorado is really overblown. Every on, no. single thing they do, good or bad, we overblow. This is we nothing, baby. Why, why we acting like we can't sit here and act like we ain't been on no fucking football field in the locker room? This type of shit happens I, all I the time, all baby. I get all that. Players fuck up. We we yell at them. They get kicked out of practice. Come on, JB. Let's, 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 let's stop. Like we, we overreacting right now, this man. Come this, on now. This, but Smitty, you asked for this. I didn't. I didn't break. I did not say film my every move and go three and fucking 11 or whatever the record was. I did not say this. You all said it. So don't say, yo, we, they, we're overblowing it. No, we're not. Y'all asked for this. You had everyone on the sideline hyping up this organization. You are either a failure or you're going to make it. There ain't no fucking we asked for this. We overblown it. You asked for it, homie. Step up. You're the man. Go be the man. You want to film everything. You want to go to Paris. You want to miss spring ball. Then go ahead. Film it. But don't talk about you're sad now when we bring it up and show you an actual blue shit show and a mockery that's happening, and you're mad now that we're blowing it up and talking about it. Nah, homie. It go both ways. You're right. They asked for the camera. You and I as football guys. 
we we are smart enough to have enough experience to look at that clip and not overreact and be like, oh shit, this is a fucking shit show. They're gonna be a, have a shitty season. There's no discipline. Shallow doesn't like, come on, bro. Nah, because I'm not, we ain't gonna go there because I didn't I didn't play too much football. I didn't been too many locker rooms. I didn't been in the position where, I, where my teammates fucking up. Come on, Darius. Come on, uh 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 Anthony, come on, man. Do it again. So and so didn't do it. Do it again. Come on. We this is happens every fucking all season and if you and you're in the chat if you did not play football for a high fucking level i don't don't say shit just listen and learn because you ain't had the experience that i had or that jb had so just shut up and listen i'm telling you this moment happens every single all season multiple times either because players are just fucking up mentally and coaches trying to get them to fire them up or sometimes you're not even fucking up and the coach is going into this shit like, hey, I'm about to fuck with them today. Just because they're trying to get us to learn how to react and see how we we respond when you got to start over or when it's a, a change and change in possession or whatever the case may be. These moments are what can help you bring a team and mold a team together. That This happens every single – so that's, that's all I'm saying. You're right. They ask for the cameras. So when the cameras come – you're going to get praised and you're going to get criticized. But there's certain shit I'm not going to come here and just criticize because that don't, this this moment did, did not teach us that much. This moment does not show that they're not disciplined. This moment does not show that the coaching is bad or that Shiloh's a shitty player. It doesn't, it doesn't show nothing. And we've, we've got too much experience on this show to go on this fucking on this, on this live here today on Free Game Friday, Friday or Friday, and act like, this clip is so fucking bad. When we've both been in the either as a player and or a coach, have experienced a very similar scenario multiple times. That's all I'm saying. Well, be careful what you ask for. <laughs> Don't start none, won't be none. I surely wouldn't be filming out my everyday moves and I'd be this shitty. <laughs> I'd be quiet and humble as a motherfucker. But that's just me. Um, you went quite hub on last chance, you. I, what do you mean? I was the same person I've always been. I know, which ain't quiet and humble. Like, I mean, you you fucking confident and you you boisterous. You go, yeah, you I'm just coaching. Head, like, I'm just coaching. I was just coaching. I know, but that's you though. Like, that's what I'm saying. I like, didn't give ain't... a fuck about no cameras on me. We weren't filming it for our own use, though. Imagine last chance, you and I did a whole thing. Like, let me ask you. So, if I coached again right now. If I coached again right now, I would do we film because of, of my because of my following and my platform. We I would do the Dion shit, but it would be a completely different Dion shit. It would be a completely different filming thing. But here's my point to you: Imagine me filming everything, so you got to see it prior to Netflix airing. That is the huge difference in this. Well, they don't so have a Netflix see. deal, so they they, yeah. they creating their own Netflix. They're but you're seeing there. you're seeing it all right, and then the main thing, which would be for me, relatively speaking, Netflix coming out in July, and then you see the actual documentation and documentary and everything, and then you're like, "Fuck!" He filmed all that shit to go two and eight. He we've been seeing this fucking fire ass social media shit. They were two and eight. Or you see all this shit, and then you win the natty, and you get your first bowl victory in school history and all that shit. And then it's like, all right, it's fucking been, it, it, it makes sense. There's two parts. There's only, there's only two ways it could go, Smitty. There ain't another, there ain't no gray area. It's either you going to show all that shit and win, you're going to show all that shit and get your ass whooped and look like a fool. It is what it is. You got to be able to, you got to be willing to take it on. My point is, if you're going to be willing to take it on, Got to be willing to take the fucking heat. And that heat comes from everyone, from us, to everyone in the media, either whether you defend it or you fucking criticize it. Correction ain't criticism, dog. I'm just telling you. It is what it is. People get butt hurt. Don't ask for it. We wouldn't cover it. We wouldn't cover it. Nah, I'm just telling you. So I don't feel sorry. I don't feel bad. You accepted it. You got a lot of money over there. Dion got a lot of money. They made a lot of money. He's making a lot of money. Kids make a lot of money. There ain't nothing to feel sorry for. Go win. 